Hi, it's Tracy Matthews from Flourish and Thrive Academy, and I'm so excited today to be here talking to you about Instagram tactics that convert that jewelry designers are using right now. So I'm here today with Melissa Camilleri of Shop Compliment. Melissa, thank you so much for being here today. I'm so excited to talk to you. Hey, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yay. So tell me a little bit about your business, and then we'll start talking about Instagram. Sure. So my business is called Compliment, and the idea behind it is that um, all of my jewelry comes in a box with a hand stamp compliment inside to kind of build self-esteem and make women feel really appreciated and beautiful and loved. And so it's really great for gift giving. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I found that my customers really like and gravitate toward. And so um, a little bit of, you know, in my backstory, because it kind of has to do with my Instagram following, yeah. is that I... Um, was a high school English teacher for 10 years and I started do doing jewelry on the side and in this last year it's kind of grown exponentially where I'm not in the classroom anymore but that said I have I love hearing that people quitting their jobs <laughs> yeah it's really exciting um, but education is still super important to me and I spent my career really helping kids who mm -hmm. come from um, low-income backgrounds right. to get into college and build a you know the life that they want too so um, I have a scholarship program tied to my company, and um, I'll talk a little bit more about how that's kind of also affected my Instagram. But um, so that's my company. That's <laughs> awesome, and that's amazing. I love it that you have a scholarship tied into sales, and that people, you know, people love to give back. So I think yeah. this is just such a phenomenal way that they can give back and directly yeah. affect someone's life. So it's yeah, amazing and impressive, and I can't wait to hear more. Yeah, thank you. So how long have you been using Instagram? So I started using Instagram almost immediately when I started my business is when I first found out about it, but I wasn't really using it um, so much to build my business exclusively. So I was posting pictures of my dinner. I was posting yeah. pictures of, you know, like what I was watching on TV or the books that I was reading and I didn't have a real plan for it. Um, and that's kind of evolved. So um, if you go back in my Instagram feed, like, you know, yeah. several months, you'll see like, oh man, this was not cute for a long time. And then I really got a focus and, um, you know, I'm, I'm curating my pictures a lot more, you know, with intention. Right. Oh, that's awesome. I love yeah. hearing that. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about some of the techniques that you've been using to build a following and sure. sort of to grow your business? Sure. Um, I think the first, first and foremost is once I started making sure that my pictures were really well lit, just like you would post on your website, um, I think it makes my, my picture feed look a lot more legit. Right. You know, it looks a lot more professional. And I only usually post the pictures I've taken on my iPhone, so I don't have any fancy gear or right. anything like that. It's just I'm styling my pictures a little right. bit, like I said, with more intention. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Um, I have done a couple of other things. Another thing, and this is kind of um, like kind of lame to say, but I have asked my friends and my family, please like all my pictures. And no, that's you know, great. You know what you're doing. I know it might seem like you know who cares, but people do what they see other people doing. And so if I have a picture that has you know ten likes on it, that doesn't seem as legitimate as a picture that has 80 likes on it. Right. And those things really do matter um, when you're talking social media because you want you know your people to look like they're involved. So I, I employ the help of my, of my friends and family that way. That's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> it's not really that brilliant. It's just like begging them for, for to be nice. Um, but one thing that's really, really been great in the last couple of months is I reached out to other business owners, small business owners that I follow that I really like their message or somehow right. maybe it coordinates with mine or we're in the same geographic location, like a small business in Sacramento, um, where we're like kind of at the same events and everything. And I've been hosting giveaways. And I'm not really huge on, um, I don't know, just a giveaway for a giveaway's sake. So it's been really intentional in the last three times I've done it. And I've grown my following probably by like 400 through wow. three giveaways. That's Which great. is huge on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. crazy. Congratulations. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. So what are some of your favorite hashtags that you use? Well, I try and you. use um, hashtag shop compliment on anything that has my jewelry in it specifically mm -hmm. or something that is really 
um, super related to my business like me. I have a picture on there from a couple weeks ago of a huge order that went out and it's me like at the post office or like oh, that's so office, cool. putting my envelopes in. So I'll hashtag shop compliment on things like that. So all of my pictures are kind of filed away, you know, in one spot. Right. Um, but I really like hashtagging my town Sacramento, like for geographic location, because I really want a local following. I think that's right. super important that people in my area know who I am and what I'm doing in the community, especially because I have this scholarship, you know, for my business. Amazing. Um, I also like to do, um, like the color, uh, like if I have a green piece, you know, I'll hashtag green. I hashtag jewelry. I hashtag um, fashion, fashion bloggers, blogger, blog, like all variations of that because boutique because I want those people to find me. Okay, cool. You know, so, yeah. yeah. That kind of leads to the next question, I think. Yeah. It <laughs> does because you already know what the next question is going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how is Instagram affecting your sales and building your business right now? Okay, so um, – I think it's because of the hashtags, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, um, that I have grown um, through wholesale accounts Great. with um, boutique owners or um, other small business owners finding me on Instagram saying I really like, I understand your brand, they, they can scroll really easily through my pictures, mm -hmm. kind of get a sense of who I am as a business owner, what my jewelry line is about, what it stands right. for. And they've reached out to me and I've sold to them my wholesale account. So that's, that's great. That's awesome. But I think even better is my, um, person to person sales. Um, I have been including a little card in my packages that said, if this brightened your day, feel free to share on Twitter or Instagram. And I give the hashtag and like my, my handle Oh, and so, so people are sharing it because, you know, with my product, it's attached to like feeling good and like somebody surprising them with a compliment. And so oh. people want to share it. So That's it's a really kind of, great idea. Thanks. <laughs> that one kind of came like as an inspiration in the shower, one of those, you know. That's so, amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. You. I mean, that's like just really a brilliant idea. Like who would... I'm like, hmm, maybe I could do that. I'm not sure that my custom jewelry clients are really on Instagram necessarily, but yeah. I mean, not the guy that I'm stripping a package to today, but <laughs> maybe I could do something like that. I mean, this is brilliant. I love it. I love hearing from you. Yeah. So, wow, yeah, that's amazing. Sure. So what else is working for you to help build your sales and your business? So to me, relationship building is super important for all aspects of my business, but Instagram allows me to do that pretty easily because everybody on my feed sees my pictures and I really try and like respond to when people yeah. comment and I comment on other people's things, like people that I admire their feeds and try and like their pictures and really have some interaction. But right. um, offline, when I'm at an event or, you know, I'm selling you know, in my, in my studio or whatever, I, I created, um, a poster. So I'm going to show it to you. Really quick. Okay. Awesome. It's kind of big and it, it might be backwards, but you'll get the idea. <laughs> you'll get the idea. Okay. So it oh says, my gosh, I love that. Oh, thanks. So help us share the goodness of this day. And then I have all of my social media icons. I don't do a ton on Twitter except for what's like linked from my yeah. Instagram. So I link my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, and then I have Facebook. But but Instagram has been so good because it's so visual. Right. And so I ask people sometimes um, at events, I'll run a special where it says, like, follow us on, on – oh, I just fell. That's okay. Um, <laughs> follow us on Instagram, you know, and get, you know, 5% off or $5 off or whatever oh, it is. Oh, cool. So when I'm seeing people in person, they'll say, oh, yeah, like I've seen you on Instagram. or And that's happened to me a couple of times before in Sacramento. That's great. It's kind of crazy. But they're like, yeah, I totally follow you. I, I came out to see you at this because I knew no you were going to be at this event. And so I really want to encourage social media when I'm offline as well. So. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, thank you so much for sharing all of these great strategies and, um, it's so great to hear like from someone who's using it, that it actually is working for them. So yeah, once again, thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, tell us where we can find you online. <laughs> sure. I'm at www.shopcompliment.com. And your Instagram handle is at shop compliment. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks again and have a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye.